<laughs> Girls with glasses here. Frickin' summer. And we heard your cries. You want to know about glasses. This video is our Glasses 101. 101. Mm -hmm. The basics. Yes. These are just like some, you know, kind of starting points, like uh, just the basic rules of kind of what to look for when trying on a pair of frames. A little cheat sheet for you. Again, Sorry. all the rules can be broken. Absolutely. Depends on you and your personality. However, we're gonna just set you Guide up you. on the right track. That's right. So first, I wanna talk about my, one of my, that I think is the most important thing yes, is brow us. placement. Amen. Because you want to be able to see your brows, whether the glasses are below or above. If it's too straight across the brow, you look a little unibrow, a little Frida, Frida action going that's on. That's true. And you do not want that. It's not flattering. A lot of internet sites, where it's where a lot of us are buying our glasses now, they offer some really great deals and some really amazing frames. Um, before you buy, try do try the at home try on pairs. They let you usually yes get a few three to five. That's I actually gorgeous. I pulled the trigger on a pair that I was just so in love with on the website. They looked so good. Didn't want to wait for an at home try on. So I just went ahead and bought them, brought them home, sure enough, no brows. And it was just the brow thing. Yeah. So watch your brows. Can wreck it. Next thing is the placement of your eyeball in the actual, within the frames. They need to be centered. You want to make sure that that eyeball is really centered. And that helps you look balanced, but also helps you be able to see better. That's right. If it's too low, you know, you, you lose kind of this part and here. And you'll always be seeing and that like and line. Yeah, not good. There's some people who, with their glasses, they want, they don't want it to be the first thing that you see is, whoa, she's my a girl glasses. with glasses. Right. And some people, they do. Some people, they want, That's yeah, I want to walk in the room and I want it to be like, boom, bam, wearing some glasses. I am. So if you're the first type, you know, you can go with something a little bit more dainty, sweet, classic, you know, these that are light and not so intense. Or here's just like a little tiny petite kind of dainty pair. Depending on your skin tone, that could be a subtle one or it, it could. could be a bold one. It really could. It just depends from look lookmatic. Mm -hmm. And then you obviously have, uh, you know, something like this from 3.1 Philip Lim. That's tortoise. That can be a little bit more bold. Or these from Lookmatic, lookmatic. the Abbey. Very bold. The next rule is to give it a lift. Like the cat eye, for instance, is is a really vintagey kind of retro frame that people have been wearing for a long and time. Because a Spitfire it's that a Spitfire. has that shape, but it's still modern. It it's is also not like costuming, kind of that flirty, like happy, sweet kind of look, and it's just it, it's more youthful for the face. So think about the width of your face. You want to make sure that you don't look like you're wearing children's glasses. Yeah. You know that that look is. I feel like too, if I wear glasses that are too in here, I look huge. Like a giant wearing baby like glasses? Like a giant or... Like really. you're Mr. Potato Head. Like I'm Mr. Potato Head. So, so if you can have them at least the width of your... The farthest, the, high, the, the widest part of your face is where the... It will look more flattering. That's right. And you won't feel like you're busting out of your glasses. Yeah, so I think that's, I think that's it for, for Glasses 101. One. Thank you for attending Glasses 101. Take note. We'll see you at 102. Yes, we will. Wait, the, what's it? The roof. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. <laughs> the roof thing? Can you the do right. that? I was like, uh, what's that?